Number 45, a camera lens used for taking close-up photographs has a focal length of 22 millimeters. The furthest that it can be placed from the film is 33 millimeters. Letter A, what is the closest object that can be photographed? So they're telling us focal length, image distance basically because the image is projected on a film. And then they want us to find the object distance. So we use our thin lens equation for lenses, one over DO, meaning one over the object distance, uh, plus one over the image distance will be equal to one over the focal length of the lens. So I need to solve this for DO. So all you simply have to do is subtract this term on over to the uh, right hand side. And then all we need to do is basically do a little cross multiplication. So you can cross multiply this whole term on over and then you bring this whole darn thing on down. And that's it. There's your solved equation. Okay, so it's now one over one divided by that focal length. Now you can leave everything in this equation uh, in terms of millimeters, uh, meters, you know, centimeters. It doesn't matter, but you've got to be consistent. All right. So if this is millimeters and that's millimeters, well, by gosh, by golly, the object distance is going to be in meter in millimeters. <laughs> oh, by gosh, by golly, it's early. So, uh, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. All right. So the focal length. So let's plug that. So uh, what we'll do, why don't I do this one in millimeters this time? All right. So 22 uh, minus then one over 33 is going to be equal to the object distance. So do one divided by 22, do the denominator first minus one divided by 33. That's 0 0.0, you know, one, five, one, five, blah, blah, blah. And then divide that. So now take one and divide it by that value. So the answer comes out to be 66, right? 66.0, I suppose, because we want three sig figs. So that is in millimeters now. That's what you have to be careful of, all right? Keep in mind what you're plugging into the formula. You're allowed to do that. Uh, but, you know, if you plug in millimeters here, you're going to get out millimeters, which might be fine. All right, if you want to convert everything to meters, by the way, you know, go for it. Do it. I have absolutely no problem with that. Um, sometimes though, in this particular case, it might just be less steps, less, less chance for silly errors. Although I really do usually, uh, convert almost all the time. Um, but as you can see, it might depend. So, um, letter B now it says, uh, what is the magnification? So magnification, we have a formula over here, right? It relates that the negative image distance divided by the object distance will equal the magnification. All right. Negative sign is just giving us kind of direction, whether the object will be inverted or, or um, maintain, all right, it's, uh, it's, it's normal uh, appearance, all right? So basically inverted or not inverted. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in then the values, di and do. So I got negative, uh, and again, this is a fraction, so you can leave these all in the same units, that's okay. Uh, so we'll take di, the image distance was 33. Make sure though that, that they're all in millimeters. And the object here was 66. So this is then equal to negative one half or 0 0.5. That is then the magnification. All right. This tells me that the uh, image will be inverted. And it tells me that the image is now going to be half of the object. I mean, just look at the formula, right? It's di over do. So whatever this number turns out to be, you're telling something, you're giving information about the size of di relative to do. All right. And the sign just tells you whether it's inverted or not. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next problem. Goodbye.